Good morning and welcome to a new week in the Proactive Studio. I'm Jonathan Jackson and joining me now is Imagine CEO Leslie Chong to discuss the progress of the company's OASIS trial. Leslie, good morning. Good morning, Jonathan. So you've dosed the first per- patient in, in the phase one oncolytics IV infusion combination trial. Can you talk us through how that advances the OASIS trial? Absolutely. So this, just to remind the audience, this is a first ever oncolytic virus that actually expresses what's called CD19, cluster differentiated 19. Those are just initials and numbers. But what that means is that we, there are many, many therapies out there that are CD19 targeted. CD19 only appears in blood cancers. So this is a way of covering solid tumors with one marker, which is CD19, and then in the combination with the CD19 uh, targeting therapeutics like Blincido or Blimatumumab that's marketed by Amgen, we brought the power of a CD19 targeted product into the solid tumor space. So how does the trial differ then from other cancer treatments that are currently in development? Absolutely. So this is the the world's first item um, in an oncolytic virus. We have another study that we call the MATH study, the metastatic advanced solid tumor study, where this is a just CF33, our oncolytic virus. This is in combination with another product that's already marketed for blood cancers. So blood cancers are roughly about 10% of cancer type. And this is a means of bringing again, CD19 therapeutics into the 90%, which is solid tumor. So this is the first uh, in the world product and we're well advanced. So I'm quite excited about the fact that we've got this in combination. And just on that point, I mean, it really now broadens or could broaden the cancer market for you. And that's worth billions of dollars. Absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I'm delighted number one, for patients. Um, Patients are our North Star. And the fact that we can bring a solid tumor that has no marker, no targets, and make it targetable by powerful CD19 therapeutics, we just, and in that combination, it's a beautiful thing. And it brings in your endogenous T cell, you've got your virus replicating and imparting that replication onto other tumor cells, and then bringing in uh, just wiping away those solid tumors with the CD19 therapeutics like Blincido, it's in that beautiful combination that is uh, synergistic. And Leslie, just finally, I mean, the, the trial's been conducted at three prestigious institutions. You were looking to expand to 10 sites uh, overall. Talk us through what you're looking at uh, in, in terms of that expansion. So we have uh, we have three sites that have already they're open to screen and enroll and then we're opening up further uh, prestigious cancer sites across the U.S. and we're looking for um, CD19 production with our C- with our oncolytic virus and then in that combination seeing solid tumors being wiped away uh, I think we may even get you know early three to six patient um, outcome as late as uh, this year so early preliminary data uh, could be expected as early as the end of this year. So I'm quite excited about the all the sites are coming up and then enrolling more patients and seeing more more and more activity as we dose escalate our oncarlytics. Leslie, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.